that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. A word that the World Health Organization avoided using for weeks. And now, for the first time in more than a decade, the WHO says the new coronavirus that spread across six continents in 114 countries fits the description of a new global pandemic. Pandemic is not a word to use lightly or carelessly. It's a word that, if misused, can cause unreasonable fear or unjustified acceptance that the fight is over, leading to unnecessary suffering and death. The WHO no longer officially declares a pandemic. The label doesn't add to how serious the disease is. It merely defines it as one that's spreading widely. Last time the world saw a pandemic was during the outbreak of the H1N1 virus nearly 10 years ago. It was during the First World War in 1918 that the deadliest pandemic in recent human history first appeared. The Spanish flu, which killed at least 50 million people and infected a third of the world's population. This time, the WHO says, even though the world has never seen a coronavirus pandemic before, it's also never seen one that can be controlled at the same time. I think they're saying to all governments, you really need to get ready. You really, no kidding, need to implement measures to slow the spread within your own country. And so some countries have um, been denying that, that their country is at risk or saying that they have no cases when that's probably not, the, not actually true. So I, I think WHO is saying to them, really, you have to get ready. And there is hope that if countries and people work together to prevent the disease from spreading, the impact of the coronavirus pandemic can be limited. Priyanka Gupta, Al Jazeera.